Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about 11 a.m. on this final Monday of March, believe it or not, 2024. It is, like I say, 11 a.m. in the morning, 11 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, yeah, this is a vlog. I've been doing these a lot lately, as you know, just to let you know what's been going on. And, like previously, not really much happening, um, if you will, not really much happening um, throughout the week. Well, I get myself some old, um, some OJ, some orange juice here. Florida natural one. But anyway, anyway, like I said, not really much going on uh, throughout the week. Um, you know, the, the only thing that happened throughout the week, like for my mom, honestly, is she had to get her windshield replaced. Yeah. She had to get her windshield replaced. Uh, because one of the roads she's been taking to, to get to work from Newman to Livermore, because she, what she does is she goes down Highway 33, uh, when she leaves the house, she goes down Inyo, or she goes down Inyo, yeah, she goes down Inyo Avenue, and she then goes to, um, Main Street, she goes to N Street, she goes to N Street, and that leads into Highway 33, and when she gets into Highway 33, uh, before, she used to turn to the left with the... Hold on for a sec. That would be her right now. Sorry about that. You know, that was my mom, just like I was mentioning. <laughs> it it always seems that when I do these kind of videos, the phone rings. Whether it's a uh, portfolio or it's my mom. It's like she's got good timing. She doesn't have a camera in the room. That's <laughs> that's a, that's a fact. She does not have a camera. She has a, We have cameras on the in, on, in the living room and on the porch. You know, for security reasons, but... You know, there's no way she has a, like I said, a camera in my room. But I do have plans for some, for camera eyes for something uh, that I'll allude to later on or talk about later on. But anyway, like I said last week, you know, last week she, uh, you know, because as I was saying, but I got a little distracted there. I do apologize. <laughs> uh, but last week she, uh, you know, she takes basically, like I said, she used to take to Stir Row. This is what I was trying to get to before the phone rang. She'll go down N Street, which leads into Highway 33. And in the past, she used to go down, uh, she used to turn to the left, go down Stir Road. That's S-T-U-R, uh, Stir Road. She used to go down that to get to the highway. And it was always like kind of up and down, a little curvy and stuff. But she would take it because in a way it was kind of quick. But over time, she's realized that maybe that's not the best direction to go. Excuse me. Maybe that's not the best direction to go because... It's a little dark, especially now that it's daylight savings time. It's a little dark, you know, going up and then coming back, if you will. So what she does now is she just goes down Highway 33. And she's doing that because that's the direction she would take me in uh, when I would be working seasonally for my sister's job at Kohl's. She would take me there in that direction because, you know, just go down there, turn to the left onto uh, Las Palmas. Go down Los Palmas, go down to Baldwin, turn to the right on Baldwin, and then go from there. And, you know, you're you know pretty much, you know, near uh, where I have to be at work, if you will. Um, anyway, um, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, what happened, though, is last week, she's going to work. She's going down, like I said, N Street. She's, going, she's leaving the house, going down, uh, P, uh, going down Pine Street. Uh, and then going on to Enyo Avenue, then down, and then turning on to N Street. Then she's going on, and she, then she's merging onto uh, Highway 33, uh, which is all country road. And she's coming into Patterson. She turns on to Patterson onto Las Palmas, like I mentioned. And then she goes straight down Las Palmas to the freeway, gets onto the freeway, drives the freeway all the way to Livermore, goes over the Altamont, if you will. And she says she gets to this road called Velasco Road. And she's not sure what happened. But last Thursday, or this past Thursday. Excuse me, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, let me get some to drink here for a second. Like I said, got thrown off a little bit by the phone call. Should have waited till she called, then, to, then recorded this, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway, like I said, she's. You know, she's going her new, normal route, and she goes on to Velasco Road, because she knows the, the area. Doing it for 20 years, she should know. Uh, and what happens is she's going down this road that she normally takes, and all of a sudden, 
she hears this, according to what she says, right onto the passenger side of the windshield, of the windshield, and I saw a picture of it, and I'm like, oh man, that's like a gunshot almost going off, or a gunshot being shot at, but it didn't have the hole like a gunshot would. You know, it was just like somebody, you know, threw something like a rock or something and it just cracked it. And she's like, I, you know, I can't leave it like this. I got to get it repaired. So she calls Presto Glass, not Save Light, but Presto Glass because they're a little cheaper. And they get somebody out there that, according to my mom, was about the age of my second oldest nephew. About the age of my second oldest nephew. And this guy goes out there where she's in work. She, she's in the school teaching the kids. Uh, working. He's working on her on replacing her windshield because again she can't leave it that she can't leave it the way she uh, uh, she had it after the after whatever hit you know hit her windshield. So she has to repair it. So she repairs it, and basically she goes and pays the guy. She has one of the teachers take over for her while she's doing what's known as circle time with the kids. Uh, so she can go pay the guy and the guy tells her leave the tape on because he had to put tape on it he says leave the tape on there for at least 24 hours and of course she was kind of wondering okay can I leave it for longer and he's like yeah you could do that but mostly you know recommended wise leave it for 24 hours Uh, if you want to go longer you know that's fine too might help well she left it for 24 hours because what she did on What she did on Friday is she took the truck. She took the truck on Friday to go to work. And then she uh, basically took... And then we, on Saturday, took the car uh, in the morning. And, you know, nothing... And after taking the car on on Saturday, after letting the car kind of sit, let the, you know, the the windshield kind of do its thing, kind of self, you know, kind of like the adhesive or whatever they put in it, do its thing... You know, after letting it sit for 24 hours plus, uh, we uh, she removes the tape the next morning, and we go to H and R Block. We go to Patterson uh, on Saturday morning to H and R Block. That's where we go. And the reason we go there is because they had a ske- they had a scheduled the year prior to go back for our ta- to have our taxes done, because that's the one thing H and R Block and I'm sure other tax you know services do. You know, they will nowadays schedule you a year in advance so that you have a place. You have a position set up for you, an appointment already set up for you, instead of waiting to the last minute. So, that's what they did for us last year. And it took us a bit, because I got the text on my phone, my mom got the email, and then she got a text as well later on when I asked them, hey, can you put a text out for my mom? And they said, yeah, sure, no problem. And uh, basically... You know, it's after I got the text and she got the email is when it kind of, it's because it's been a year. It's been a year that all of a sudden we're like, oh, right. You know, you know, we, we had this scheduled in advance. We had to get scheduled in advance. So they gave us, you know, they gave us that opportunity to, you know, um, be notified, you know, weeks in advance, a month in advance of, hey, this is when you got your appointment. You know, so that's... Um, so that's basically what we did on Saturday, and the window, you know, was fine afterwards. Again, set for twenty-four hours plus, it was fine. The window was fine and everything. And uh, after that, we went after we got our taxes done, and we're both getting some something reasonable back. Uh, this year, we're both getting something reasonable back. Um, so that's kind of good. That's kind of good. But after, after we did that, and it was raining, what was crazy is, <laughs> what was crazy is just like yesterday when I was showering, um, while my mom was at work, I was showering, kind of getting myself cleaned up. Uh, yesterday it rained, briefly, because the gray cloud went over. You know how those clouds, you know how the, there's a lot of moisture that gets built up in the clouds and they get real gray, thanks to the reflection of the sun or something. Well, this one had a lot of moisture apparently. And I'm in the shower, and I'm not even aware of this. I come out, I look out my window, and it was it was a downpour. Just a brief downpour. It's like, whoa, where did this come from? You know, excuse me. Anyway, uh, that's what it did on um, on Saturday when we were at uh, H&R Block. We were getting our taxes done, and it just rained. 
a gray cloud came over, a lot of moisture, and it rained. And it was raining throughout, you know, throughout, you know, um, go, throughout our time. I'm trying to find the right word to say here. Throughout our time, going from H and R Block, getting our refund, getting, you know, getting an idea of what we're going to get back, and going to Walmart. And when we went to Walmart, we did a lot of shopping because apparently we were hungry. We didn't eat too much before we left. So being hungry, we we're like, okay, let's get this, let's get that, let's get this, let's get that, <laughs> you know. So we basically stocked up as best we could. We stocked up as best we could uh, on food. You know, I got cereal, I got the peanut butter Reese's Pieces, which I try Reese's Pieces cereal, peanut butter Reese's Pe- Peanut butter Reese's Pieces cereal, easy for me to say. A uh, Reese's Pieces a uh, Reese's Pieces cups cereal peanut butter flavor. I got that and I tried it today and it was good. You know, really good. Um, my mom, you know, ended up getting, um, you know, some more stuff as well. Ended up getting more vegetables. Well, not vegetables. She got bananas and all that. That's what we needed. And then, um, just got some other stuff as well. (laughs) You know, we haven't really shopped that well in a while. And normally when she goes to Walmart after work, she doesn't have me. So my, I, what I should suggest, honestly, what I should suggest is if she's going to go to Walmart, just let me know. Hey, I might stop at Walmart. Can you get on the bus? Come meet me. And I might do that. So you never know. Uh, anyway, um, anyway, like I was saying, uh, we went to Walmart, bought groceries and stuff, you know, that we needed. And then we went home uh, after that, you know, just to relax a little bit and everything. And then yesterday was Palm Sunday, the start of Holy Week. Um, and my mom, of course, went to church, like I said. And I was, you know, staying at home. I went in the shower and everything cleaned up. And usually my mom, usually my mom goes to my sister's, my older sister's afterwards. But my older sister the day prior tells my mom, yeah, uh, you may not want to come here because I got a little bit of a cold. I don't want you catching it. So my mom's like, okay, no problem. So she goes, so... What happens is she, uh, so what happens basically, she goes to Walmart afterwards, gets a few more plants and a few more items she didn't get. Then she comes home, we relax, you know, just, you know, you know, kind of sit back, you know, do things, you know, that, you know, we want to do while we relax and all that. And it's during, it's, here's what's interesting. It's during the time she's, you know, at church and she's coming home, well, actually it's between Getting out of church and going to Walmart. So she's at Walmart coming and then coming home. So it's between that time frame. Uh, we get in Texas. We get in some Texas from my uh, sister. And it's addressed to the family for, for Easter, my older sister. And again, like I said, she told my mom, hey, don't come to the house on on, sun, on Palm Sunday because I got a cold. So anyway, my older sister, Texas, you know, myself and, you know, my, nie- my niece, her daughter, uh, my oldest nephew and his wife my middle sister and her husband, and so on, and makes a suggestion that because of the fact that, you know, because of the fact that my niece is working on Sunday in Tesla, you know, is working Sunday at Tesla in Fremont, that it'd be best if we did things the day before. And when I told my mom this on the phone, I could kind of tell, even though she's kind of okay with it, I can kind of tell she's not too, like, thrilled with doing something on Saturday instead of the actual day of Easter. But, again, my niece, you know, my great who's the mother of my great-niece and my great-nephew, she can't be there on Sunday because she's got to work. She's got to be at work at Tesla. And she doesn't have seniority yet to basically say, hey, um, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to try to request Easter off because I got to be with family. She doesn't have that seniority yet because she started just at the beginning of this year. So she doesn't have that seniority yet. So what she's do so what she's gonna do, uh oh not what she but what they're planning to do for Saturday. What they're planning to do for Saturday is to pretty much do everything then. Do you know, do the Easter games, Easter hunt, you know, for the kids and for the adults, because yes, they're all adult Easter hunt and everything. Do all that kind of stuff. You know, do that all that kind of stuff that normally you would do on Sunday. Now, my mom obviously will go over there on Sunday to see how things are and everything. And try to do something Eastery on Sunday with them then. Even if, you know, my niece is not working. Even if my niece is working and my, 
and my great niece is with her dad and his parents, you know, do some Eastery uh, on Sunday, you know, you know, as traditional as, you know, as can be, if you will. So, so yeah, that's uh, basically what happened yesterday too, was, you know, we got some texts, you know, from my sister kind of trying to plan out something for Saturday instead of Sunday because of what's going on. Now, as far as next week goes, I haven't heard anything yet, so I don't know whether or not I'm going to be, you know, whether or not I'm going to be, um, you know, out of state that week with my sister, so I haven't heard anything yet. I'm pretty sure I'll hear something on Easter, so whatever, you know, they got planned will probably be either later on this month, maybe the week or two after my dad's birthday, because my dad's birthday's on the third day of April, so we'll find so we'll find out either way, you know, uh, on Easter what's going to be planned, and you know if not it'll probably be May. We'll we'll find out. We'll see what's going on. Um, excuse me. Um, outside of that, outside of that, really, um, you know, really can't think of anything else. You know. Besides, you know, the texts that we got and, you know, what's going to happen next week. Because next week, next week, my my mom is going to be off. So that's going to make things a little interesting if I'm still here, but we'll see. Uh, sorry for the little bit of rambling and confusion there. I'm try- I was trying to think about something to say there, trying to get the right words to say. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, that's pretty much what also happened yesterday. Just got a lot of texts and and everything for for doing Easter on Saturday instead of on actual Easter because of you know the conflict in the job and everything, you know when it comes to working at places like Tesla, and like I said, my niece doesn't have seniority yet, so it's like oh God, you know that's not gonna work out because she doesn't. Here's the thing: she does never she never wants to miss her daughter's Easter because it's always nice to see the young generation doing hunts and all that, so she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to miss that, so doing things a little differently, changing things up, you know, might be the best thing to go. Now, oh my, not the best way, to, not to go, but the best way to best way to do do it, I should say. Again, trying to find the right words to say here. You know, it's I've been up for several hours now, and you know, just you know, as you know, a lot of my videos, audio on screen, I I shoot from the hip. I don't really use bullet points or scripts that much. You know, I just shoot from the hip. That's who. That's how I am. That's how I roll. So I do apologize. <laughs> you know, and apparently I'm not the only one that's just like, oh yeah, my my thing did this. So, oh, I, I can't find the word. I'm trying to find the right words to say. A lot of the more experienced ones out there, like Andre Meadows and stuff, Andre Meadows and Greg Morgan and all of them, they they do the same thing. They do the same thing. Um, anyway. Anyway, like I said, you know, this plans for Saturday, so we'll see what happens there. Um. Then, then oh, oh, here's what's interesting, okay? So, recall that I talked about the fact, about a month or two ago, that I got a false copyright strike on me. I got a false copyright strike on me, and apparently, as I mentioned, I did not keep the video that got copyright strike falsely, but I did have the email, because I looked it up. And I sent it to YouTube, and they did apologize that they couldn't do anything because I, they couldn't really do anything when it came to restoring the video because I already deleted it. But they can take. But they did thank me for informing them of what's going on because apparently I'm not the only one that got this. Well, yesterday, I'm online, I'm checking the email, and I find an email from YouTube Legal Support Team, quote unquote. And I looked at that email, I looked at the address, and I I looked at that address and I'm like, who the hell are these people think they're trying to fool? Who the hell do they think they're trying to fool? So, I go to Twitter, X if you will, I let Team YouTube know, and they say, okay, show, sh- can you show us a screenshot? So I show them a screenshot. And... You know, they, t- they advised me how to do the screenshot. Like, hey, can you, you know, remove this and that so nothing bad happens. Or nothing, you know, com- you know comes back to you. So, 
I do that. I clean it up. Make sure there's no personal information. You know, email and all that. Except the one that's false. And I send the screenshot to them on the Twitter. They... They get back to they get back to me this morning, and they said everything checks out. They say everything checks out. There's no, nothing infringing. There's nothing that goes against our policies. This is all you're all good. You're all good. And they thank me for letting them know about what's going on, because apparently YouTube's copyright policy, copyright claim and strike policy is being abused. By a bunch of trolls. And I talked about this before. I talked about this before. A bunch of trolls. And you know what really gave it away? You know what really gave it away, folks? So, on the... Because I got this before. I got this last year. And it said VTS dash... Or it said VTS dash... Uh, okay. Okay. This is what it said, because I got it last year, and I'm wondering, what the heck is this? And I was working for Target at the time. I was working for Target at the time. And I saw that, and I'm thinking, what the heck is this, right? And it said VTS underline 2.1, which is basically the file name for the video I uploaded. And I'm thinking, what is this? You know, I'm thinking, what is this? And there's no, and there's no like, highlighting it or anything, so I'm thinking, something's not right here. And... I'm like, you know, okay, what's going on here? And I look at the address then, and I'm thinking, yeah, this seems very suspicious to me. And it says, it says something like re dot dot uh, case subject. And I'm thinking, what is this? Right? What is this? So anyway, I got I got basically the same kind of email, false email today, uh, yesterday. And I see that there are three of my YouTube videos linked. And I look down. And it's all my pony fan, and it's three of my pony PMV pony fan vids, or pony music videos. Yeah, it's three of them. It's three of them. It's uh, one that has Hall of Fame, the Hall of Fame song by Script that I used. The other is, I think, two romantic ones, one for Spike and Rarity. And I looked at that, and I'm thinking, oh, I know what this is. Because, again, I'm thinking... You know, you could choose any other videos, right? They could choose any other way. Any other thing to complain about or falsely complain about. Falsely complain. And I noticed it's three ponies. Three po PMV stuff. And I'm like, are you freaking serious? And I'm like, okay, guys, I get it. You don't... Because here's, here's what gets me, folks. Here's what gets me. You know, and I've talked about this before in various other videos. And others have talked about this. You know, if you don't like what people are me, like me are fans of, if you don't like what we're fans of, then don't watch. Don't pay attention. You know, don't do that. Because if you do, it just shows just shows everybody on your, you know, from their point of view, it just shows them that you're someone that's like, oh, oh what that person's into, pony boys. Oh, they're a cool, they're a nerd. Nerd, 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 nerd. It makes you look like a bully. Or, what I've suspected in the past, and I think I'm pretty much on, on point with it, it almost makes it look like they will target anybody, including YouTube itself, just because YouTube won't go out and say, Hey everybody, we're opening up a triple X rated site for all you triple X people that like all the TNA, lesbian, da 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 da. They're upset with YouTube because they don't get to have that. That's what it is. And you know what? You know how you could tell these people are like this? Because of what I just mentioned. They label something that makes it too obvious. Who do they think they're trying to fool? Who do they think they're trying to fool? Huh? Look, if you don't like what somebody enjoys as a fan, just say it. Just You got the freedom of speech. Just say, hey man, just my personal opinion, but what I think what you're doing is uncool. Just say that. Don't try to go through all the trouble and all that. I mean... Here's the thing. We're already hearing some of these major, major channels across all video uploading sites that, you know, are going through situations because someone or some group or whatever is getting into them. And it takes YouTube, again, to correct all this. 
It's like, you know, what is going on here? It's like, what is wrong with these folks, huh? Anyway, anyway, like I said, I, I reported this to YouTube, did the screenshot, and YouTube, like I said, they got back to me, and they said, hey, everything checks out, you're good to go. And I think what these people don't realize is sites like Rumble, sites like YouTube, Vimo, you know, sites like Meta, like, you know, Meta Cafe, sites like BitChute, they keep these false addresses on record. So that if they see them pop up again, they can detect them. And you know what also gave this away? When YouTube sends you something and says, hey, you know, this, you got a copyright claim, nothing, but your video is not affected. Or, hey, you got a copyright claim and unfortunately your video is, you know, blocked in one country or so. But it's viewable everywhere else, you know, every place else. You know what gives it away when you know it's false? They don't have the YouTube logo at the bottom. Or the address of where YouTube's located at. <laughs> it's like... And here's the other... It's like, you know, they... It's like they're trying... It's like they don't realize people are on to them now. People are on to them. And if that's not enough... <laughs> they don't realize people could go to freaking Google, Bing, Yahoo, look up, you know, the address that's been... You know, the, the address that's, you know, associated with this claim or this legal thing... They don't realize people can go to those websites, Google, Bing, Yahoo, look it up, and see that that's not the real address. Because you'll get the real address in those web, you know, in those searches. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't get, you know, I just don't get it, okay? It's like, again, if you don't like what people are doing, then, then don't watch it. Don't pay attention to it. Or if you want to be vocal about it, just go out there and say it and say, you know, maybe do a video yourself to say, hey, look, uh, I'm so-and-so that was behind some of these things, and I do apologize for that, but I just don't think what you guys are doing, liking, you know, My Little Ponies or liking Transformers, I don't think that's cool. But what I think would be cool is if you try to show some TNA. It's like, it's like, seriously, if, if you don't like something, don't pay attention to it or let it be known. And if you have a problem with you, sites like YouTube and wherever, that doesn't allow that kind of stuff, then let it be known to them. Contact them and say, Hey, uh, YouTube, uh, I just want to let you know that I think it's unfair that you're not letting us have our kind of stuff on there. You're supposed to be for everybody, so let us have our content. Just say it. Goodness sakes, you're going to cause trouble for every... It's, 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 like, it's like you're going to cause trouble for yourself. You keep this up. I'm just saying. Getting drinking some more orange juice out of the cup that uh, Frank Hill gave me, the Sonic the Hitchhog 2 cup. It was a theater cup, it looks like. Um, anyway. Anyway, they're going to get themselves in trouble. And they know it. They know it. But, yeah, besides that, you know, kind of, kind of a, you know, not too much going on. Not really too much going on, really. Uh, my mom planted some plants and everything, um, lavender plants, if you will, you know, in the front because it, cats don't like the smell. She also, um, is, she also bought another plant she's going to plant. It's one that my grandma used to, you know, plant in her yard or grow in her yard. My grandma and her, my grandma on my mom's side, her, her mom. But yeah, it's just like, it's like, you know, outside of that, and I'm sorry I went on a bit of a tangent there, but... You know, outside of that, not really too much going on. Not really too much going on. Uh, like I said on, like I said last Sunday, not yesterday, but the week prior, as I mentioned in the last vlog, we went to my um, sister's for, uh, uh, what what is it, uh, corn beef for corn beef soup, if you will, and everything. And you know, we you know we stayed there for a bit. And. Yeah, really. That's that's all I can really say. That's really about that's really about it. Outside of seeing the car that they brought, which is my dad's, my dad's, such my sister's car, and everything. Um, but yeah, um, really not really not much outside of all that um, happening. Um, still waiting to hear from you know any of these outlets, any of these companies to try to get a job. Um, I might end up getting a job as soon as I get back from visiting my dad, whenever that might be, the way things are going. 
But I do know next week I got to reapply for unemployment. And that that is the most interesting thing, too. You know, my mom was wondering, like, why do I have to reapply? And I had to explain to her because I don't... Because when, when she does unemployment, she only does it for, like, two months at most, two and a half months. Because um, she's, a, you know, she's a 10-month, you know, seasonal worker. She works as a teacher, preschool, Head Start. And... The only break she gets to where she has to get unemployment is from mid June to late to about mid to late August, and then she goes back. But outside of that, outside of that, she's never, I guess, experienced. Okay, you know, why do you have to renew and everything? You know, after a year, uh, it's because they give you a limitation on how much you can have. They give you a limitation. So I'll see what happens here. Whatever they give me here, hopefully, might be a little bit more, might be a little less. Uh, We'll have to see. We will have to see. But uh, maybe I'll get something before then. I don't know. Uh, Keep it in prayer, though, because I'm looking at Safeway, looking at Costco, and maybe I'm probably going to end up at Kohl's again. And I think my mom's starting to realize that, yeah, that might be where you go, (laughs) you know, once more. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, But... Yeah, like I said, not really much happening, you know, not really much happening and all that outside of that this past week. Uh, Again, Easter is probably going to be, Easter celebration is going to be on Saturday for the family and all that because of my niece's job at Tesla. And, you know, I'll find out more about what's going to happen with me, my sister, my brother-in-law, her husband, when it comes to seeing my dad again uh, in, you know, very soon. But that's about it. And then, like I said, outside of the whole false email thing, a legal thing, a legal support thing from YouTube. The and it was false because, like I said, I clarified it. Yeah, outside of that, not not really much happening, and that's all I can really say. Uh, let me know. But anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Comment if you like. Live chat if you're watching on YouTube. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I will talk to you all later.